Hello everybody and welcome back to All That Jazz! I haven't done a dramatic one like that in a while so I thought it was probably time. <laughs> welcome back to All That Jazz! Doo -doo bang! I am always getting questions from you guys about relationships in Ireland or how to find an Irish girlfriend or an Irish boyfriend. All of these questions about love. <laughs> But what happens when you actually do find a girl or a guy that you're interested in dating? What happens next? Well, I'm so glad you asked. <laughs> Today's video is all about my top five favorite things to do for a date in Dublin. Now, this is definitely going to depend on the kind of person you are, the kind of person that you're dating. Um, so I'm gonna give you guys a few different options. If the girl or guy in your life is like a classic romantic kind of person, the number one thing you gotta do on a date is bring them to Stephen's Green to feed the ducks. I know, it might sound a bit random, but trust me, this is like probably one of the cutest things you could ever do. <laughs> So what I would recommend doing is surprising them. Don't tell them what you're gonna do or where you're gonna bring them. Bring a little secret stash of bread. Or so Stevens Green is a beautiful park right in the center of Dublin city. And when you walk in the gates, you're gonna walk up past this pond that has like hundreds of ducks and swans and just birds flying everywhere. If the weather is really good, Stevens Green Park is the perfect place to have a picnic. It's a really, really beautiful spot, very romantic. Set up your picnic beside the pond, get out your bread and start feeding the ducks as you will. <laughs> if it's a rainy day and you can't whip out a picnic, I would really recommend a little Italian restaurant called Pizza Stop, which is just off Grafton Street. Pizza Stop do like some of my favorite Italian pizzas. Oh my God, even thinking about them now is making me hungry. You could go and get a pizza to share. You can go and get a pizza each. You could go and get spaghetti and do that little pasta thing where, you know, somebody eats one end of the pasta, somebody eats the other end of the pasta, and then you, so romantic. <laughs> Date idea number two. If that girl or guy in your life is a little bit more adventurous, I always recommend going hiking on a date. And Dublin is full of incredible places to go hiking. Two of my personal favorites are Hothead and Brayhead. So Hothead is on the north side and Brayhead is on the south side. So no matter where you are, there's gonna be an awesome place to go hiking. Both Hoth and Bray are really easy to get out to. You can just hop on the dart. If you go to Hoth, you can hike along the side of the cliffs. It's very adventurous altogether. <laughs> and if you go to Brayhead, it's like, I wouldn't, it's not a mountain, but it's like a very large hill. <laughs> and so I would only recommend going there if you're not afraid to sweat in front of your date. <laughs> Not only is the scenery really beautiful in Hoth and Bray, but they also have some of the best views of Dublin as well. So when you get to the top, have a break, sit down, have a smooch, whatever you want to do. <laughs> date number three is for the more cultural person. Dublin is home to some of the best museums and galleries and exhibitions. So I would definitely take advantage of that, especially if it's raining. <laughs> Some of my favorite museums and galleries are all based around Nassau Street, which is at the back of Trinity College. You can find the Natural History Museum, the National History Museum, uh, the National Gallery of Ireland. There's, there's loads and loads and loads, and it totally depends on what you're into. And this area of Dublin is also full of beautiful little cafes. So that could be a really nice way to end your date. If you want to be a real tourist, you could always go to the National Leprechaun Museum. Yes, <laughs> we have a National Leprechaun Museum. <laughs> I've actually never been to it before, but I'm determined to go sometime. <laughs> okay guys, date idea number four. Again, this is for a more adventurous type of person and somebody who's not afraid of heights. Croke Park is probably the most famous stadium in 
all of Ireland. It's usually home to uh, the Gaelic Games, which is an Irish sport, but they also hold concerts and events and loads of other things there. But now you can walk on top of the stadium. It's called Skywalking in Croke Park and it's 20 euro per person. So might be a little bit more of an expensive date, um, but definitely something you'll never forget. I've seen a lot of people sharing photographs from the top of Croke Park and just the view is spectacular. It, it's on my bucket list. I, I definitely want to do that. Arwa, if you're watching this, take me there on our next date. <laughs> okay guys, number five. Anybody who lives over on the south side of Dublin always loves Dundrum. Dundrum is a shopping center that has some of the most beautiful shops and you could just stay there all day shopping, but that's not what I'm gonna talk about today. If the person you're going on a date with is totally laid back and just up for a bit of a laugh, up for a bit of fun, this is what you gotta do. You gotta take them to mini golf. So Dundrum have an indoor mini golf, again, which is fantastic because you guys know it's most days it is raining in Ireland. <laughs> So I'm all about those indoor activities. <laughs> the mini golf has like a jungle theme and um, so the location is pretty pretty cool. It will definitely bring out your competitive side so just be prepared for that. If you're gonna go on a date there and you're gonna play mini golf against each other, control your competitive side. That's all I'm gonna say because otherwise that date might not end well. <laughs> Last but not least, one of my personal favorites, why not take him or her to a comedy show? So Dublin has got loads of comedy venues. Um, some are cheaper than others, some of them are free. Uh, so one of my, a few of my personal favorites are Vicker Street, uh, which is a really famous one, and The Laughter Lounge. This is an insider tip I'm gonna give you guys. I signed up for The Laughter Lounge newsletter and every now and again, they actually send me out two free tickets and two free drinks. That was three, no, two free tickets and, I did it again. Two free tickets and two free drinks. <laughs> um, which is amazing, like, that's, like a, that's like a free date right there. What, what more could you want? <laughs> I really recommend going to the Laughter Lounge, but I would also recommend signing up for their newsletter because they do send out free tickets a lot. Insider tip. <laughs> so guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video. <laughs> Sorry, I've been really hyper today. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what your date ideas are. Give me some, because I need some new and fresh date ideas. Myself and Arwa have been going out now for almost four years now, so we need some fresh date ideas. <laughs> Leave a comment down below, and uh, I'll check them out tonight. I will see you again very soon. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. I've been Snapchatting a lot lately and you do not want to miss them. You, trust me, they're probably the best Snapchats you're ever gonna see. <laughs> Guys, I will see you again soon. Basic chat.